I'm Jamie and this is an episode of Working It. Ever wonder what the most glamorous careers are really like? We're going behind the scenes and into the real lives of high profile career women. A runway show at Toronto Fashion Week is a make it or break it affair for most designers and especially for a relatively new face like Nada. I was really nervous. I mean, it, in the beginning I was nervous and then it started and then there was just no time for nerves because you just had to go. We're starting. And if you think those models work it on the runway, take a look at what goes down backstage. On top of that, there was a little added pressure behind the scenes. The floor was slick. The, the backstage and the makeup room just freaked some girls out. So I was constantly wiping their shoes, trying to um, get the oil off. But the models and how they strut their stuff are only part of the equation. With a year's worth of work on the line and her own name on the brand, the verdict on the clothes is the most important thing on Nada's mind. So right after the show, I, I went off to the, the fashion television corner and uh, I met Jeannie Becker, who's huge. I have so much respect for that woman. I, I don't know her personally, but I mean, really, if you look at the what she's built, it's really something. Awesome. Nada has just presented an extraordinary fashion. So beautiful. Congratulations. So much to I want my clothes to make women feel wonderful. Jeannie told eTalk Daily that Nada was one of her top three designer picks from L'Oreal Fashion Week for her ultra feminine and wearable line, and she called her designer with great sensibility and promise. Now that's working it. I just wonder when people will say, I wear Canadian, or I don't wear anything but Canadian. Tara Spencer Nairn does that. I think it's important that we all support Canada, no matter what it is, whether it's film and television, whether it's fashion, whether it's music. I love that. It's, it's personal, she's extremely talented, and I think that she's doing it for the days where it'll be more like a week if it's been a hard week or month and I'll say that's it you know Sheppy my husband David just let's stop it let's forget it like with all this money we're pouring in we can just like, travel the world and have fun and I can buy other people's designer clothes and <laughs> enjoy myself and then he'll say well will you be happy in in two years and I'll be like no this is need a break <laughs> So then I come to work the next day and keep on going. I'm Nada, and this is a slice of my life as a designer.